In 1987, an intriguing discovery was made by an archaeological expedition from Chelyabinsk University in Russia. Deep in the wilderness of the southern Urals, an ancient fortified settlement estimated to date back to 2000. 3000 BCE was uncovered. This mysterious fortress known as Archaim stands as a sentinel of a forgotten era, offering a glimpse into an ancient world that once thrived in secrecy. Experts believe that this fortress is even older than the famous British fortifications. Covering an area of 17.1 million square kilometers, Russia is the largest country in the world. Its vast territory makes it the most geographically diverse nation, encompassing some of the most extreme terrains on Earth, including dense forests, frozen tundras, remote mountains, and arid deserts. Despite its physical size, over 50% of Russia's land remains uninhabited, with much of it still unexplored by humans. Humans. The country is nearly twice the size of the United States, which spans four time zones, while the Red Bear stretches across 11 time zones. Russia's vastness and harsh climate, particularly in the northern regions, make it incredibly difficult to explore. One of the most mysterious areas in Russia is a valley in northern Kazakhstan. It was here, in 1987, that archaeologists from Chelyabinsk University discovered the remains of an ancient settlement dating back to the 17th to 20th centuries BCE. Most of the original structures of this megalithic site, known as Archaim, no longer exist. However, scientists have mapped its original design which includes large circular walls reminiscent of historic sites in England. Thus, this site is often referred to as Russia's Stonehenge. What have archaeologists seen and what has left them in awe? The discovery of the megalithic site of Archaim sparked excitement among archaeologists. This fortified settlement featured two concentric circular walls fortified by an outer defense wall and a two-meter wide moat. According to a UNESCO publication, Archaeology and Ethnic Politics, the discovery of Archaim, the site has a diameter of about 150 meters and dates back to the 17th to 19th centuries BCE. The area, dubbed by archaeologists as the Land of Fortified Cities, covers an area of 400 x 150 kilometers. The site features four gates aligned with the cardinal points and showcases, advanced engineering with a water distribution system, and tunnels for excess water drainage. About 35 houses were built alongside the outer wall, with exits facing the main road, indicating a well-planned ancient city design. The discovery of water and waste systems, metal objects, pottery, ritual remains, tools and furnaces further demonstrates the complexity of Archaim. The finding of graves near the fortress adds to the intrigue of this site. The intricate layout and design of the settlement set it apart from other Bronze Age settlements, highlighting the exceptional foresight and unique characteristics of its builders. Although it remains unknown who precisely built Archaim, archaeological evidence found at the site suggests the presence of Aryan people. Specifically, there are indications that the inhabitants of Archaim might have been part of the Sintashta culture, an Indo-Iranian group from the ancient Eurasian steppe. One key piece of evidence for the Aryan presence is the discovery of horse burials, aligning with their way of life. This tradition is described in ancient Indian texts, which state that horses were buried alongside their masters. As a nomadic people, many Indo-European societies had strong bonds with horses, believing that these ties would continue into the afterlife. 
evidence of horse sacrifice rituals was also found in stone burial sites excavated in the Archaim Valley. Despite knowing who might have built Archaim, another compelling mystery is why the site was abandoned. Some evidence suggests there was a fire, but it may not have been the primary cause. Given that the site was fortified, some experts believe it was abandoned after the inhabitants lost a battle. Skeletons have been found at Archaim and in the extensive burial grounds in the valley, but the human remains generally do not indicate death in combat. There is speculation that Archaim might have been built for astronomical and surveying purposes. According to Hugh Newman, a megalithic researcher and explorer, Archaim once served as a fascinating observatory. This suggests that our ancestors worldwide were observing other phenomena that could explain our fascination with the stars, he said. The city's circular structure with a central square is particularly intriguing. Essentially, Archaim consists of an inner circle surrounded by concentric circles, resembling the principles of a Buddhist mandala or a miniature depiction of the universe for many. Moreover, archaeologists have discovered that Archaim was constructed with features aligned to measure up to 18 astronomical events, such as solstices. Among the ruins, they found an ancient statue of a man looking up at the sky, adding to the site's enigmatic nature. Further contributing to the mystery are reports of strange anomalies in the area that persist to this day, including magnetic inconsistencies, odd lights, and unusual fog formations. Considering these strange lights, odd fog, magnetic anomalies, unusual hallucinations, and events experienced by people there. It seems this could be some kind of energy node or vortex on Earth possibly utilized by extraterrestrial beings when it was built. However, this last point is certainly difficult to believe. Archaim's mysteries continue to fascinate and challenge our understanding of ancient civilizations. The site invites ongoing exploration and speculation, reminding us of the rich tapestry of human history still waiting to be uncovered. Indeed, scholars have drawn parallels between the layout of Archaim and the cosmic city model described in ancient Indo-Aryan texts, such as the Vedas and Avesta. Its unique design features three concentric circles of walls and three radial streets, which some believe reflect the city of King Yima, as mentioned in the Rig Veda. Interestingly, the foundation walls and dwellings in the second ring show a swastika-like pattern, according to some researchers. This symbolic design can also be found on many artifacts unearthed at the site, further emphasizing the potential spiritual and cultural significance of Archaim's architecture. More than two dozen similarly designed structures have been found across a vast area stretching from the southern Urals to northern Kazakhstan, creating what has come to be known as the Land of Cities, or the Land of Fortified Cities as mentioned earlier. Consequently, Archaim appears to have served as a fortress, residence, temple, and social center. The remarkable astronomical knowledge evident from its ruins, along with the mystery of its construction and abandonment, has led some scholars and experts to argue that an advanced civilization once existed at Archaim. There is even speculation that the ancient people might have possessed aircraft. A popular legend claims that gods landed at Archaim, and some believe its center served as a launch pad for spacecraft and rockets. However, this theory seems implausible unless the pilots had an unknown propulsion system that wouldn't damage the structures or harm people nearby. Undoubtedly, Archaim belonged to a highly sophisticated prehistoric culture, but was it a center of a civilization with advanced technology? 
This remains a difficult question. The site is still considered sacred by many and is also referred to as a center of paranormal phenomena. Reports of UFO sightings in the form of flashes of light, moving circles and mist are common. Some visitors have claimed to hear strange noises, experience disorientation, or see ghosts. Magnetic anomalies have also been documented. No further scientific investigation has been conducted to legitimize these claims, and there is insufficient evidence to support these strange occurrences. Despite this, the aspects that explain Arkaim's existence continue to attract visitors and interest, prompting ongoing study and exploration to uncover the secrets behind one of the most intriguing sites in Vladimir Putin's country. What do you think?